Thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor Vegas, Velma Brockovich, Troy Smothers, Safe Moon Oz, and Murad Shaker for being higher level patrons. You can join that for as little as $1 a month. There's a link down in the description. And also, thank you to my YouTube members. You can click the join button below this video if you'd like to show your support there. Please keep in mind, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. This has to do with crypto. Okay, well, guys, I've made a series of videos on this cryptocurrency project in the past. And one big noteworthy thing for the SafeMoon community, I know a lot of you guys that watch my videos are primarily because of how often I do upload content on SafeMoon. I do like SafeMoon a lot. So Cryptor has a character that will be in the Cryptor game called Chain Quest that is uh, inspired by SafeMoon. And I've made videos in the past showcasing the development of the model as well as the development of the game. And it looks like it's getting very close to a playable version. So they posted this a little bit earlier. They said, almost ready for a test play. Skill-based play-to-earn game is coming. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this, but let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger there and go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to touch on a couple key elements here. First off, you can see it's moving very, very fast. It's kind of a time-lapse thing. And as far as for the full gameplay ability, they have some older videos that have been showcasing as this has been getting developed and moving forward. Um, one thing I will note is personally, I feel like the lighting could definitely be done better, especially like on a stage like this. Everything was just super bleached. And again, it's a progressive thing. It's not like this is the final version of the game, right? And I'm sure they are looking towards videos like this to get people's feedback and everything. Okay, so that was the end of the video. I'm gonna start over at the beginning here and now we can kind of walk through a little bit more, right? So first off, right here, story mode. Incredible, how is that gonna work? Because you do have all these different cryptocurrency inspired characters. Do they each have their own separate storyline? Do you just pick one specific character? I'm assuming this is going to be something in the style of kind of like a street fighter for the story. I know they've talked about a Tekken, a Tekken style fighting game. Um, I haven't played the Tekken like game fully or, or it's been a very, very long time. I, as far as I remember, I just had Hihachi in uh, Soul Calibur. He was like a special character in one of them. And so they have a story mode here, which is cool. They have online. So meaning that you could go on and fight against other real-life players. Then you have Versus. So I'm assuming that would be against an, a, a computer, a CPU, or NPC. And then you have Training Mode. So if you want to practice your skill sets, I'm wondering how many combinations they'll have. Then they have Options to change your game settings, Credits, and then Exit if you want to go back to the main menu. Oh, wait, we just saw something there for a second. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that under Options. Okay, it looks like you can change the volume bar for the music, the sound effects, the AI engine fuzzy. Uh, you can change the level of difficulty of the NPC. It has debug mode. Okay, and then just kind of continuing on. Right here, we could see a list of characters. There's four, seven, and then an eighth one that's got a question mark on it. So it shows Binance and Gorilla. The second image that you see there, that is the Safe Moon character, just so you guys know. Um, then you've got the Shiba Inu, Pancake Swap, Hoge. This one should be Doge, because they have Shiba Inu and Doge. I don't know why they use the same image twice. Uh, probably just a placeholder for this. And then they've got Gorilla, and then I don't know what the last one's supposed to be. And as it goes over to Versus, you can see it says Free for All Combat. We have another menu here, player versus player, player versus CPU, CPU versus CPU. That's interesting. You can just straight up watch the computer fight against the computer. So if you're not even wanting to have the stress of fighting, you just want to see them go all out. <laughs> you can have like a, a match between these two and then uh, see who wins. Select your character. Okay. And let's see if there's anything else here that we can highlight. MetaMask. Uh, where did the MetaMask character come from? Oh, okay, so, yeah, they're not showing all the characters because I know that they were working on a Doge one, so they got MetaMask set up there. Again, the lighting could be set up a little bit better. 
but this is just a demo for people to kind of take a look at, right? Overall, though, I think it's making some very good progress. And then you can see, oh, yeah, yeah, you have all the combo moves on the left and the right-hand side there, so you can see what it is that people, or not people, the NPC or whoever has been pressing on this. And uh, so they got a back environment that looks like you're inside of a virtual reality room, right? Then you've got another one here that looks like you're off in some sort of a industrial plant. And then we've got, what is this? I keep seeing this pop up. Not this here, but this says repeat battle, main menu, character selection, and stage selection. This right here. So Dark City. I think that's just, again, a placeholder. It's a very weird graphic. So I don't think that's actually what it... Yeah, you could even tell it's a placeholder because it goes Dark City and then it goes Japanese Gate and it's the exact same image and it doesn't even look like the actual thing. Then they got Barrel. Barrel, what? What is Barrel? Basic Training, Dojo, Japanese Gate, Foliage, Rooftop, and then it loads up. Yeah, this is the Rooftop one. The background on this looks really cool. I just don't care for the lighting. And let's see if there's anything else we can find here. Dark City, basic training. I think this is the basic training one. I'm wondering if you can do certain things and it will interact with the environment. Like, can you do a super move and then that object there in the background will grab the character? Something like that would be kind of cool, a little cutscene. Uh, that makes me think of that DC game. What was that called? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, look, the dragon in the background. That even kind of gives me a little bit of a hint of Mortal Kombat. It's not exactly the same thing, but it gives off a little bit of a vibe. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. So let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I do have referral links in the description. You want to get free crypto, free stock, feel free to check that out. I will have Crypter's website also in the description, so you can go look to see more information. They're not doing just a game. They're doing... A website it's already up that's like a social media version um, decentralized version I should say of Facebook which is really cool as well in my opinion and that's it if you're new don't forget to hit subscribe again I'm not a financial advisor click the thumbs up like button and click the bell icon God bless I will see you in the next episode